the impact of our genes has to stop at the horizon of the surface of our bodies. Right? We all accept that genes code for proteins, and proteins have all these effects inside our bodies, and they can shape the structure of our bodies and the structure of our minds, and therefore our behaviors. Uh, and But genes can also specify things we do outside of our bodies, like artifacts that we made. So a simple example is the spider's web. You know, spiders genetically programmed to make a web of a particular kind with a particular shape and particular mathematical properties, and all species of that spider make the same kind of web. And the spider makes the web, and, and, and that's under evolutionary pressure. So, for example, if the, if the mouth parts of a spider evolved in order to be able to catch more prey, we would see that as an ordinary workings of evolution. But if the spinnerets evolved on the rear end of the spider to make a different kind of net, uh, a web, which um, is, um, is like a big mouth, right? It's like extending the reach of the mouth of the spider. That's, uh, that is equally under the force of evolution. So, so there are these things that we can make outside our bodies. And there are many examples of this, you know, bird's nests, for example, or one of my favorite examples is beaver dams. Uh, uh, beavers must make dams. They're not taught to make dams. Uh, they make dams. And uh, they're, they make dams of particular kinds, uh, of a particular height, and a particular shape, with particular features. But what's interesting about this is, is that the beaver, when it makes a dam, now creates, it modifies its environment. 